I'll start things out. I'm John. I play bass. I'm Michael. I play lead guitar. I'm Jason. I'm lead singer. I'm Jared, rhythm guitar. I'm Scotty. I play drums. Awesome. And what's the name of this band? High Flight Society. Society. It's what? High Flight Society. Come on. I know you've got more than that. I can't hear you. We're from Georgia and our uh, accents kind of slur the words together. So that's High Flight Society. Rock and roll. What do you guys do all this for? Obviously for, for Jesus. I mean, that's where the band started, was in the church, and I think really we got our talents uh, straight from him and just developed them as being like, you know, the praise band or whatever for, for youth group and then playing in church. Like, Scotty's been playing drums for our church ever since he could, and, uh, you know, we, we've been on a path to go uh, to minister to people with, with these talents we've been given. And, uh, you know, not only that, but to have fun, play good music, just, uh, you know, have a good time. Awesome. So you guys have been out on the road. Tell us about some good road stories. Um, the first one that comes to mind, actually, just from, just because of this recent run we've been doing in Texas, um, it's not like your typical crazy story, but I have to give props to these people for being so cool in Morton, Texas. We were playing this church. A guy owns a body shop. Asked if we needed anything done to our van, which was incredibly dirty and nasty, like any tour van. And those guys took it into their body shop, cleaned it, and buffed it, and waxed it, and fixed the lock, fixed our broke lock, fixed our broke door, patched our flat tire. <laughs> like basically, they pimped our ride pretty much. They hooked us up. And we figured out that our van's actually black. I thought it was navy blue. We, <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> we thought it was blue. It's, it's black. You know what that's called? <laughs> Southern hospitality. Yeah, that's what it is. Exactly. It was, it was really awesome. We, we've been having a great time though in Texas. Um, I think this is one of the maybe second or third times we, we've got to really see the state. And uh, you know the people here are really awesome, I think. Uh, being from Georgia with the whole Southern hospitality people, you, you hardly ever meet a stranger, but you kind of feel that way in Texas too because people are so cool here. Well, we released our first record uh, in June of 07, 07. So right now we're actually in the transition of record labels and all this kind of stuff. So what we're actually doing now is we recorded an EP. It's going to be three rocking songs like usual and one acoustic song, kind of like a little, like a bonus track, sort of, and um, it's going to be called Par Avion, which is, uh, I'm actually not going to explain, because we're going to prompt people to go find it. So go to Google, Google Par Avion, find out what it means for yourself. But um, basically, all, all the stuff on this thing, even though it's only three songs, you can really see the progression of the band and see musically the direction where we're going. We're not straying too much from our roots but um, we're definitely stepping it up a good bit and um, it is it's just going to be a, a digital release so it's going to be iTunes and all that stuff we're not going to bother trying to do the CD thing just for convenience not only for us but just for for people for convenience sake not having to worry about all that stuff but um because we're probably not going to be making it to like Oregon anytime soon so you can't yeah. buy a CD at our show. Listen, we don't want to, we don't want you to have to worry about only getting our CD from us at shows so we're putting it on the internet who is access which is accessible to everybody and if you can't get the internet contact your friend who has it <laughs> and we don't care if you get it from your friend yeah it's cool with us. you boys got you some cojones <laughs> There you go. Dude, what are you doing? Turning the music industry upside down or something? Yeah. I, I think the music industry itself has turned itself upside down. Uh, this is how everything is with the state of record labels. Anything from indie to a major. It's just, there's a lot of transitions going on with, with staff and, and bands, you know, going in and out of labels. So I think, I think now more than ever we're trying to be a, uh, a self-sufficient band and make stuff happen. You're gonna see a lot of new changes within, uh, you know, anything from our MySpace page to like the digital release. So we're just trying to get, get our name out there more than ever and uh, do it as best we can. MySpace.com 
slash High Flight Society. Easy as that. We have all the, the contact info, the music, the bio, the pictures. Videos. Videos. We have a big video blog thing, and it's all it's all on there. So go there. It's your, that's your one-stop High Flight. Even if you don't have a MySpace, you can still go to it and look at all the stuff. So don't be scared. Our MySpace is not evil. <laughs> So go go check it out. <laughs> we, we encourage you guys to, if you're fans of the band, never heard us, whatever, uh, add us. We love uh, staying in touch with fans. We like to, to see what's going on with you guys, no matter where you are in the country. And uh, even even if it's stuff like, hey, you, you need somebody to pray about something, definitely message us because, you know, not only are we a band that wants to bring you good music, but we, we care about you guys and want to show that. Major thanks to uh, Power FM for keeping on playing our stuff, uh, even when we're not here in town. Um, talked to some fans the other night, they're still playing our stuff, and we appreciate it very, very much. Yeah, There's we're... Not, not many radio stations in the nation, like for real, like Power FM, because there's not really, honestly, there's not that much of a market in radio for a straight Christian rock. There's Christian stations that kind of turn their heads away from the rock part of Christian rock, but definite props to Power FM for not being scared for to play bands like us without ceasing. So that's yeah. a, if I lived here, that would probably be the only radio station I listened to, honestly. Good yeah, plug. So, so thanks thanks for, for, you know, Drew. I know he's he's got a lot to do with us getting played up there. and. We did the interview. Any of you guys who listened to the interview we did with Drew, thanks for listening. Uh, you know, keep it keep it locked on Power FM because it is an awesome station. Here. We're actually at the uh, cemetery here in Arlington, um, to where Dime Bag is uh, buried, and we just took some time out today to kind of hear some stories from Rick and just really reflect on the life of Dime Bag and just really life in general and I think you know in places like this they're often often you, you find very choice like wisdom and just reflective moments and I, I think we found that today so awesome you want to take us over there sure yeah this is, this is really cool because as we were here, and Rick was sharing stuff, uh, a guy happened to pull up in his car, and he has a uh, signature dime guitar. And, Razorback. Yeah, Razorback, man. And he's he's actually set up. He's got his uh, small little amp, and he's just kind of kind of playing. And uh, it's really cool. We're gonna take you over there, and you'll hear some of the tunes. All right, so we're at Dime's grave. Here's my man who's playing the razor back in tribute to Dime. All the way down here. Really? So Demon cool, Hunter and Red. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Pretty cool, man. Who are you, bro? Ah, uh, nobody. <laughs> That's a great response. What are you doing, are you, nobody? Are you a local guy from around here or what? Yes, my name is Rick Warden. Rick Warden? I've yeah. probably seen you around somewhere. Probably. Nice to meet you, bro. Right. You. My name is Bobby Tillotson. I play in a, a local band called Within Chaos. <laughs> This is High Flight Society, and you're watching Outlaw, Outlaw Video, Video TV. TV. Woo!